Gavin is 32. He's been homeless for six months after a family breakdown. He's from my stig, but left the town and moved to Swansea. The town where I'm originally from is just a very small town. And if I was to be... I was homeless over there, but there's nothing over there. There's no facilities, there's no soup runs, there's no soup kitchens. There's no way you can go for help. Swansea has more homeless people than any other part of Wales, but Gavin is one of a growing number across the country. Figures obtained by BBC Wales show that last year, 18 out of our 22 councils saw an increase in the number of people turning to them for help. Clearly, uh, the economic downturn has had an impact on people's lives. The fact that you know, unemployment is increasing, people are going on to shorter hours and they're struggling to pay their rents and mortgages, that's clearly going to be a factor in this. But also, we have a lack of affordable homes in Wales. We're not building anything like the level of affordable homes we need in Wales, given the demand for that. And I think the real worry is, uh, you, we've seen this quite significantly increase in the last 12 months, the real worry is that the welfare benefit cuts and housing benefit cuts haven't really uh, yet started to bite. Currently, the system here prioritises certain groups of homeless people and the help available has mainly been to provide them with social housing. In Scotland, they've stopped doing it that way and give equal priority to all, but Scotland has more social housing. Dr Peter Mackey, who's leading a review of homelessness for the Welsh Government, says Wales must look to new approaches. There's a bit of an all-or-nothing system. Um, if you fall into one of a number of priority need groups, you essentially get access to social housing. If you don't fall into one of those groups, um, essentially you don't get uh, any, any real meaningful assistance. Um, and what the review is, and it's still early days in terms of the findings, seems to be suggesting is that we might have a shift towards more preventative work where we're trying to prevent homelessness for everyone, a much wider group of people, reducing the number of people that then need housing assistance later on. That could mean help with paying the mortgage or rent or placing more people in the private rented sector. In Swansea, they believe they've hit on one solution. Just after Christmas, churches here opened their doors to provide temporary shelter. The organisers say the results exceeded all expectations. The shelter was due to close on the 29th of February, but we closed early. We closed on the 20th because the rough sleepers that would have accessed the shelter weren't in need anymore. They had found accommodation. Um, and the rough sleepers that there were left on the streets wouldn't have come into the shelter anyway. And apparently that was unheard of. And to this time now, in March, there has been no deaths on the streets in Swansea this winter, which is just incredible. Today, there are more than 90,000 people on social housing waiting lists. The Welsh Government says it's committed to combating the issue. It's already preparing a housing bill and will put details out for consultation next spring.